Hi guys, it's uh, Bo Yates here. We're at uh, Sydney Motorsport Park. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to the entire world. And welcome to Sydney, New South Wales, Sydney Motorsport Park. Let me tell you, this track is going to be absolutely ready. This is my original daily driver. I bought this with my wife back in 2002, so um, it's seen a lot of miles. I used to run this up and down the east coast doing drift events, Queensland, down to Melbourne, around Sydney. Uh, but you got to bring everything you've got when you're coming up against Bo, the show Yates, and that Toyota Genuine Pass 86. Fantastic car, great driver. Bo Yates uh, built this car many years ago. He crashed it at this event a couple of years back, resurrected the car, and to put the guy who invented drifting in the car for Chia San is a testament to how good this car is, and watching him is fantastic. And I'm really excited to announce that KT's back 2019, and we'll be running the A86 in the World Time Attack. So, I mean, the feedback we got back from uh, KT last year, he had Alan Lorenzo. Obviously here is his uh, interpreter. And look, overall, I think he really loved the car. Um, everything he said was really positive. He said the balance of the car was really good. Uh, still felt like an A86. He just he spoke a lot of praise and uh, I can't say enough to everyone that uh, prepared and built the car ready for 2018 last year. Well, look, I think, uh, you know, he, he's done, he's only done a handful of laps here at Sydney Motorsport Park. So with time comes speed, obviously. Um, we've got a lot of good logging in this car, so we're able to track map and uh, show him sectors where he was down and up. And so I think it's just a matter of just putting down some more laps and try and put a bigger tire on it. It's only running a 225 wide tire. So to do a low 35 on a 225 with 300 kilowatts, uh, you know, it's a, it's a fast little car. But this year we're uh, undergoing a bit more development in the way of aero. It's got very basic aero. Uh, this car, so we're going to look to do a better front splitter, maybe change the rear wing up a little bit, uh, do some uh, under underfloor stuff just to, you know, get rid of a bit of the air from under the car. But he wants to change a few things, which uh, obviously we've, we've taken note of that last year, and uh, we've got some big plans for this car for 2019. Uh, but you know, we, we're more focused on balance and, and want the car to still be an A86, right? So, uh, you know, based on his comments last year, he was. Uh, you know, he, he praised the fact that the car still felt like an A86, so for me as a purist, like, uh, that was pretty good feedback. Yeah, look, I, sometimes I just got to stand back and slap myself a little bit because, like, I'm rubbing shoulders with KT in the, in the pits at World Time Attack. I mean, God, if I could go back 10 years, I remember, you know, um, sitting on my lounge watching Option DVDs and, you know, like, uh, obviously when I first started drifting, he was, he was like the man, right? So, um, it's pretty surreal to have him in the car and, and, and driving, but, Look, I try not to get too caught up in the whole fanboy thing and, and really when it comes to the weekend and we're racing, it's, um, you know, it just feels like a, a friend or a mate and, um, you know, we're just, we're just people with uh, common, common interests and we're going motor racing. So it's a fantastic weekend. Um, obviously, there's a lot of people on board. Um, I've got a lot of brand partners and have done for the last 15 years of campaigning, you know, drifting plus now circuit racing in this country. So, you know, big, uh, big hats off to Toyota Genuine Parts. Obviously, they've... Um, They've been looking after me for years now, since uh, 2006, so it's been well over 10 years that I've, I've had that relationship now. But two, just the boys at Hypertune, um, you know, they, they open their doors, their facility, they allow me to create and build these cars in their workshop. They work around the clock with me. Uh, you know, Scott at Mtron, uh, ECU's, Insight Motorsport, he does all the logging, all the ECU. Um, you know, I had Justin from Pro Wire last year help. I mean, Scott's a wizard, he's uh, second to none, I believe, so. Uh, you know, without people like Scott on your team too, I don't think you can come out to uh, Sydney Motorsport Park within, you know, three, five laps and start putting down like uh, low 30s um, in a car with relatively low power. Yeah, well, I mean, we didn't have really uh, any expectations for this car, right? So uh, out of a field of over 20 cars to finish somewhat right in the middle, we got like just on the 10 or 11th, we finished outright. And considering the car runs very low horsepower, 300 kilowatts, I mean, it's just a matter of bringing the car to the track, getting the right driver behind the wheel, and um, just putting some times down, that's it. But what about this man, the great Keiichi Sajia, the Drift King in the amazing Bo Yates Toyota 86, set up to run full time attack trim, and uh, no doubt we'll see Bo the show in this car somewhere in the future, but still no slouch. Minute 35 for the Drift King, with this amazing car he had not seen until this event. 
a lot of cars fall into the open class, like any engine swaps or whatever goes down, it kind of falls into this open class. So, I mean, that's why I feel open class is such a, you get such a diversity, you know, from the front of the pack to the rear of the pack, whether it's a, you know, a little Honda Civic make an 800 to, you know, down the back like a Z or, a, you know, there's, there's so many different uh, cars in between. Sorry for all the Z owners out there, but, um, you know, and then we've got little A86 kind of running center of the pack, but uh, hopefully this year, uh, we're more towards the front of the field, trying to get in top five, like in and around that kind of area this year. But open class for me is kind of where it's at. So obviously for 2019, uh, with some more aero, bigger tire, we're trying to push up around the top five. Uh, you know, around top 10 last year was great, uh, considering it was the first time at the track and we rolled it out a day prior to the actual event. Um, so, but open class for us um, and to what's done with this car, obviously a motor swap, but just really excited to bring the car back this year and build off what we, what we had last year. It's certainly a much different car to what it was in 2002 when I first purchased it to what it is now in 2019.